uh, talk about some of their pros and cons of the BDA. And we'll start with Mr. Larry Hansen, city manager for the uh, City of Valdosta. Thank you, Mayor. It is a pleasure to be here with you this evening, and uh, Jonathan and the mayor had asked me to come up and to share some comments with you. Our, our city has had uh, actually two downtown development authorities. One was constitutionally created. It's called the Central Valdosta Development Authority. And then we have a downtown development authority that just has a little bigger district. Uh, same members serve on both. We have a seven-member seven board. They're all appointed by our mayor and council. And they're actually all from the downtown community. They're either required to be uh, business owners or property owners or professional business people in the downtown in order to serve on that uh, authority. We've used that authority a number of times over the years. Uh, one thing I like about having a downtown authority, it means people with common issues, common concerns. It helps you build consensus from that community. And then it helps them engage and involve their elected officials in communicating what they believe the needs are for that area. So we, we, we consider our authority a partner, uh, not an adversary. We work together in carrying out projects. I can give you several. In fact, uh, having Walter Altman here reminded me tonight about 15 years ago, the uh, state of Georgia was uh, going away from the labor departments and building what we call career centers. So they were looking for an opportunity to combine three state agencies into one building. And we knew that our community had an opportunity to get that. But the state did not have the resources at the time to build these new buildings. But yet it was going to bring 125 jobs, and we wanted that downtown. So using our downtown development authority, we issued bonds, $4 million in bonds. We built that building for the state, and the state has been our tenant now for 15 years and a 20-year lease. So they have five more years remaining on the lease. That building will be paid for in that 20-year bond. And of course, after that, the future rent will all be free and clear with the income generator. So it was a very positive thing on multiple reasons. It helped bring state agencies downtown, brought 125 jobs, created investment, and, and put the services where they were needed to serve our community. And, and yet we were able to do it in a very positive way that benefited everyone using our downtown development authority. And, and it not only issued the bonds, it had to acquire the property. Uh, there were several parcels that had to be acquired to make that project happen, and Walter actually designed that building. It's a beautiful building uh, near our overpass in, in downtown. Uh, we've used our downtown development authority as part of our streetscape project. Um, we also used the downtown development authority to issue bonds for a boys and girls club project. Uh, they wanted to do a significant project but needed the benefit of making it a tax credit project, so we used our authority to issue bonds to help them with that project. And actually, the authority receives a little bit of annual compensation by being the issue and agency for those bonds in order to, to help our Boys and Girls Club with that project. So there are any number of ways that I think that you can use an authority. It's not all about issuing bonds. It's also about having a common vision, establishing a common vision uh, using your downtown development authority. It's about having it, using it as a conduit to get access to low interest uh, loans for your businesses, and I brought a little list here. Since uh, since 2004, we have issued, uh, through our authority, we have been able to receive for the businesses in our downtown $2,177,244 in um, downtown loan uh, revolving funds. And then the Georgia Cities Foundation, which Perry Hyatt is here, we've been able to receive $725,000 for various projects in our downtown. Typically, those are in increments of $250,000. That gets those that want to invest in our downtown access to low-interest money, around, typically around 2%. Um, so it helps them really do projects otherwise they could not do. And we staff our authority. We, I know you all are a better hometown community, right? You have a, used to be. We, we're a Main Street community, so our staff person for that actually staffs our authority. And we also then provide assistance uh, to help and support those businesses uh, with getting access to uh, um, job tax credits, for instance, or federal tax credits for restoring uh, historic buildings. And, um, 
and, and that is a great benefit to them. It's something that businesses often need help on. They need some administrative and staff support to help them write those applications to receive those tax credits that may be available to them. So I think it's a very, our experience has been that it's a very positive thing. It has those with a vested interest, downtown business communities, uh, uh, establishing their goals, communicating with their elected and their appointed officials, and helping us uh, have a shared vision of what we want our downtown to be. So I'll, I'll stop now and then I'll be prepared to answer any other questions. Okay.